Today we're going to look at a third-party utility designed to provide additional input options as well as various information from your ship, GameGlass. GameGlass runs on Android, Amazon OS, and Windows to act as a secondary display to not only let you control various aspects of the game, but to also display information from your ship's systems. Let's have a look at how to set up GameGlass and at some of its various features. Before we continue, let me make clear that while this is not a sponsored video, I was contacted by the developers and will be including affiliate links in the description below. However, all thoughts are my own, and while GameClass verified the factual contents of this video, they in no way influenced my opinion of the product. Setting up GameGlass is rather simple. You'll start by creating a GameGlass account on their website, then downloading and installing the desktop application. This will connect to your mobile device and provide it with two-way communication with Elite. Once installed, head to the App Store in your mobile device and install GameGlass, ensuring your device and the PC running the desktop client are on the same network. Once installed, sign in and the mobile client should connect to the desktop application. Unfortunately, you'll have to rebind your controls to match what GameGlass expects. In my opinion, this is the worst part of setting up the application and is something the developers are actively working on. The spreadsheet with all the necessary bindings is linked in the description. As you add or change these bindings in Elite, be sure to do so in the secondary column, as hopefully if you haven't done too many custom binds, these won't conflict with anything you already have set. The easiest way to do this is to find the appropriate binding, then press the corresponding button in GameGlass to bind it. Once you launch the client, you'll be presented with a number of different shards, what GameGlass refers to as the various sections of the application. There are currently shards for flight systems, combat, mining, and exploration, with more planned for the future, such as ship launch fighters. The flight systems and combat shards are included for free, with the others being available individually for $6.99 US, each as a one-time fee. You can also choose a monthly or annual subscription for $349 or $34.46 US, respectively. This gives you access to all Game Glass products, which also include Star Citizen, as well as early access to new shards, priority support, monthly giveaways, and custom HUD colors to match your in-game HUD. Looking at the Flight System shard, you have various features such as heat sinks, silent running, cargo scoops, etc., with the Combat shard offering you information about your ship's systems, and most importantly, the wanted state and value of a selected target. Looking at the Mining Shard, we again have access to a number of ship systems, with a key feature being the Prospector tool. This will give you all the details of the last asteroid your Prospector Limpet connected with without you even needing to target the Limpet. This way you can more quickly get data about the asteroids you're searching. The Ring Finder and Selling Location tools are great ways to very quickly find places to mine and where to get top dollar for your cargo once you've mined it. The Exploration tab is similar in that again we have control of various ship systems with the information about your fuel load, the scoopable status of the upcoming star, and information about the bodies in your current system and your targeted destination system including landable or high G bodies. GameGlass runs on tablets, phones, and touchscreen laptops with an interface suited to each. The tablet interface will give you much more information, but I find the phone interface a bit easier to use with its much larger buttons and more simple layout. Regardless of which interface you use, GameGlass can provide a great way to not only control your ship for those with limited input choices, but also to display additional information from your ship, deepening immersion for many. I hope if you give GameGlass a try, you'll do so using the affiliate links in the description below. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius of edtutorials.com, reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching. If you're looking for additional guides for Elite, I hope you'll visit our website, edtutorials.com, where you'll find content from a wide range of creators, and that you'll consider supporting me here or on Patreon, and that you'll join my weekly live streams.